What's up guys, today in the Detail Garage, I'm gonna be showing you the top five tips and tricks to get your car the ultimate value. So this is a 2011 Range Rover, and it's in pretty decent shape, but there are some things that are taken away from the overall curb appeal. So it's got faded headlights, it's got discolored trim, the interior needs some attention, and it's got rough paint. So you can see over here, I've already started off by taping the headlight and using our new Headlight Restorer Compound. This takes care of any scratches, swirls, oxidation to restore that ultimate clarity. So I'm gonna finish off both headlights and then we're gonna move on to the paintwork. Now I've already started by using EcoSmart, which took care of that loose dirt and debris that was sitting on the surface. And then using our clay block, I took care of all that embedded you know, contamination to give it that slick feeling, which is gonna make it easier for us to polish and also apply a glaze, a sealant, or a wax. So we're gonna finish off these headlights and then we'll get started on the rest of the vehicle. Tip number one is we're gonna restore these headlights. Now, as I mentioned, they have scratches, swirls, and oxidation, but we're gonna take care of all that using our Headlight Restorer Compound. And this takes care of anything that might be clouding up the plastic of the headlight to restore that clarity. Now, over here, just to save time, I already did half of the headlight, and you can see that it's got all of its factory clarity back, a nice shine to it, and then we'll protect it using Jet Seal, but in the meantime, we have to finish off the rest of this headlight and then start on the driver's side headlight. So we're just gonna to get to it using our drill. As I mentioned, you can do this by machine or by hand. Definitely gonna get better results using the machine, makes it a lot faster and a lot more fun. As you can see, this headlight looks awesome. It's restored that clarity back to that factory shine all the way through to the lenses. Now you're not getting blocked up by scratches, swirls, or oxidation. We'll come back over here just so I can show you guys the before and after. So over here, this is the side I already polished using the headlight restore. You can see it's nice clarity, really nice plastics. Over here, this is where years of poor washing techniques have scratched it, and also UV rays have been beating down on the plastics, giving this yellow effect. Still needs to be polished. We're gonna finish that off and then move on to the rest of the vehicle. So now I'm gonna move on to the painted surfaces. And as I mentioned, this car had really rough paint, but after using EcoSmart, it took care of all that loose dirt and debris. And then using our clay block, you can hear super slick finish. All the impurities have been pulled out of the pores of the paint. Now we're ready to move on to our next step, which is gonna be polishing. So I'll be using V4 All-in-One Polish and Sealant. And this is a micro abrasive polish that takes care of minor scratches and swirls and also revives the paint while leaving behind a protective layer of sealant. So to do that, I'm gonna use our Torque 10 FX with a white pad. This is a finishing pad that's gonna break down the polish nicely to give it the even shine and protection. But just to give you guys a 50-50, I'm gonna tape off half the hood to show you guys the true difference between a polished side and a non-polished side. So once the polish has gone clear, that's when you take a clean microfiber towel and just buff off the excess. By using the V4 All-in-One Polish, it took care of the minor scratches and swirls, so you can see a huge difference between the polish side and the non-polish side. And the protective layer of sealant makes it harder for anything to actually stain the surface, and it's gonna protect it over the long run to give it more gloss and more protection. So I'm gonna take the tape off to show you guys the before and after. So now that I've done this side, I have to finish off the rest of the hood. And our third tip is gonna be applying a layer of wet mirror finish. And what that's gonna do is fill in the minor scratches and swirls that couldn't be polished out. And it's also gonna enhance the flake that's in the silver paint job while also leave behind a layer of protection. So we're gonna get on that and then we can move on addressing the plastic and then getting into the interior of this Range Rover. I just corrected the paint on this Range Rover, and although it looks amazing, I want to add more gloss and depth to it. So using wet mirror finish, this is a glaze that's going to fill in minor scratches and swirls while making metallic pop and also adding a protective layer. So all I have to do is shake up the bottle, and then on our black finishing pad, I'll apply five dime-sized dots, and this is going to be how I'll evenly spread it over the paintwork to give it the ultimate gloss. Now wet mirror finish only takes about 15 minutes to bond to the surface, so after it's had its chance to attach to the paintwork, 
we'll take a clean microfiber towel and buff off the excess. Just splotch it out and on the lowest speed setting, we'll spread it out in an even coat. So as you guys can see, a very little bit goes a long way. Just those five dots cover the entire hood. So we're gonna give it this chance to bond to the surface and in the meantime, we'll hit the rest of the vehicle. Now, tip number four is we're gonna dress this plastic as I mentioned. This has turned to this gray, dulled out finish and it's supposed to be a deep, glossy black finish. So now we're taking our C9 trim and one of our towelettes and applicator pads and what you do is you'll take the cap off and then slowly pour some out onto the applicator. The trick to not spilling this all over yourself is to tip it upside down and then work it back and forth on the towelette. And then we'll put the cap back on just so we don't spill it. And then we'll just slowly work it into this plastic piece here. You can see it's reviving it, giving it that deeper black look. This is gonna give it overall a better finish and it's also protecting it from UV rays or anything else that can stain it and crack it over time. As you can see, just by doing this small section, it's done a huge job of making the whole thing look better. I'm gonna finish off this cowl and then we're gonna move on to the interior. Now as our last tip, we're gonna move on to the interior. As I mentioned, this car has leather interior that hasn't been treated, it hasn't been cleaned in a long time. So it's got all kinds of grease and sanding on this. It's typical when you have lotion or any kind of grease on your skin, it's gonna absorb into the leather hide of the seats. And you can see it's got blotchiness, it's kinda of got grease and dirt building up on the surface that we're gonna remove using our leather cleaner. And then to prevent this from happening in the future, we're gonna add a serum, which is our strongest protectant, to revive that leather smell, which is great for if you're gonna sell this car or if you're keeping it for yourself to revive that nice leather scent. And it's also gonna protect against UV rays or harmful elements that can start cracking and discoloring it over time. So what we're gonna do to start off is I'll spray down the surface using a leather cleaner. And to help agitate, I'll use one of our soft bristle brushes and we'll start scrubbing to get off any body oils or grease to revive the natural, supple, clean leather. This way it'll be more willing to accept a protectant. So now that I'm done working the leather cleaner into the seat, I'm just gonna take a clean microfiber towel and buff it off. I'm using a yellow towel because we've designated these for interior cleaning jobs. And this way you can see all the body oils and grease that you're pulling off of the surfaces that you're working on. So to start, I'm only gonna do half of the seat. This way I can show you the difference between a clean and protected side against the natural unclean side. So now that the surface is completely dry, it's willing to accept a new protectant. That's why I'll be using our leather serum, which is gonna protect it against UV rays, harmful elements, and it's also gonna bring back that really rich leather scent. So using one of our applicator pads, I'll mix up the product and then apply a few strips to this. And since there's creases and stitching in the seat, I don't wanna create any kind of clotting. So what I'll do is I'll spread a little bit on the applicator and then just using my finger, I'll spread it out all over the applicator pad. This way I'm not putting a huge glob of it in one area. This way I can get even shine without any kind of buildup. So we'll start up here at the headrest just applying a little bit up here, blotch it out over for the area that I'll be working on. And then we'll just work it into the leather. So after working the leather serum into the surface, it'll only take a couple minutes for it to absorb into the leather hide and it'll be dry to the touch without leaving a greasy shine or anything else behind. You can always take a clean microfiber towel and buff off any excess if you want more of a natural matte look but it's still gonna give it that same protective property while bringing back that leather scent. And if you think about it, the interior is where you spend most of your time, so you want it to look nice and smell nice. So to recap, we started off by taking care of any loose dirt and debris on the surface by using EcoSmart, which emulsified any of that dirt and debris without scratching. Then using a clay block, we pulled off all the contaminants that embed themselves in the pores of the paint to give it that really slick feeling. Polishing it with V4 Almond Polish to take care of those minor scratches and swirls while leaving behind a protective layer of sealant. And then topping it with wet mirror finish to give it the ultimate shine and protection. 
Then, hitting the trim with C9 trim protected it against UV rays or harmful elements that'll cause it to crack or discolor over time. Then we moved our way into the interior to get this leather looking right. So, to check out these products, go to our website, chemicalguys.com. If you like this video, be sure to give it a thumbs up. We'll see you guys next time, right here in the Detail Garage.